Welcome to the October 2015 edition of Alexander County Now. It's hard to believe, but fall is finally here. In this episode, learn more about the 27th annual Taylorsville Apple Festival, which attracts more than 30,000 people each year to our community. The public is also invited to the Rocky Face Climbing Festival on October 24th. The business spotlight is on Bobby Joe's Country Kitchen on Highway 16 North. October is National Bullying Prevention Awareness Month. Check out what's new in the library corner, plus mark your calendars for the 18th annual Apple Festival 5K and One Mile Fun Run. All this and more in this episode of Alexander County Now. The 27th annual Taylorsville Apple Festival is set for Saturday, October 17th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. in downtown Taylorsville. This festival, which is held annually on the third Saturday of October, has more than 400 booths booked each year, providing crafts, foods, novelties, home improvement, services, etc. In addition to the wide variety of vendors, the event features three entertainment stages, a car show, a kid's corner with rides, petting zoo, hay rides and games, apple contests, and much more. This annual event is a fun-filled, family-friendly day which attracts more than 30,000 people to Alexander County. Proceeds from this event benefit the Needy Children's Benevolence Fund for Alexander County Schools. For more information or to become a vendor, call 828-632-2999 or send an email to Taylorsville Apple Festival at yahoo.com or you can visit alexandercountyonline.com slash apple festival. The Alexander County Family YMCA also holds the 18th annual Apple Festival 5K and One Mile Fun Run that same morning at Matheson Park, which is October the 17th. This is the next to last race in the 2015 Alexander County Points Challenge Race Series. The One Mile Fun Run begins at 8 a.m. with the 5K Run Walk event to begin at 8.30 a.m. This race, which attracts hundreds of runners from Alexander County and the region, is great for runners, walkers, beginners, strollers, families, and people of all ages. The 5K course is certified and chip timing is used. Registration fees are $12 for the fun run, ages 12 and under only, $15 for the 5K, ages 12 and under, and $20 for ages 13 plus. Be sure to register by October the 4th to be guaranteed a t-shirt. In addition, those ages 13 plus must add $5 to the registration fee if signing up after October 4th. Registration will be available on race day from 7 to 8 a.m. at the park. The easiest way is to register online. Visit acfamilyymca.org and scroll down until you find information about this popular race. Early packet pickup is Friday, October 16th from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Alexander County Family YMCA. Race day packet pickup is from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. at Matheson Park. For more information, call Karen Martin at 828-632-9699 or send an email to k.martin at ymcan.org. WNC.org. The Taylorsville Municipal Election will be held on November 3rd, 2015. Voters registered in the city limits of Taylorsville will have the opportunity to vote for the mayor and for town commissioners. If you are a resident of the town of Taylorsville, your voting precinct on election day for this election only will be the Alexander Senior Center. Please note this change. You may choose instead to vote at our office during one-stop absentee voting, or you may request an absentee ballot by mail. Important dates for the Taylorsville Municipal Election. October 2nd, request for absentee ballots by mail begins. October 9th, registration ends by 5 p.m. Voters must be registered by this date and time to be eligible to vote in this election. October 22nd through 31st, one-stop absentee voting will be held at the Board of Elections office from 8 o'clock a.m. until 5 o'clock p.m. Monday through Friday and on October 31st, 8 a.m. until 1 o'clock p.m. You may register to vote or update your address at the Board of Elections office located at 370 First Avenue Southwest Taylorsville. If you have any questions regarding the upcoming Taylorsville Municipal Election, please contact us at 828-632-2990. Alexander County is planning a big event at Rocky Face Mountain Recreational Area on Saturday, October 24th. Let's learn more about the Rocky Face Climbing Festival from Park Ranger Alicia Stamey. 
The public is invited to the Rocky Face Climbing Festival on Saturday, October 24th from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. at Rocky Face Mountain Recreational Area. The day-long event will include free rock climbing and rappelling classes for beginners, rock climbing competitions, children's activities, free lunch, music, and more. The day begins with registration at 8 a.m. for both the climbing classes and the competitions. There will be two beginners classes of 15 people each with one class at 9 a.m. and another class at 10.30 a.m. A total of 30 class spaces are available on a first-come, first-served basis. Training and equipment is included in these classes offered by Alexander County and Rock Dimensions. The rock climbing competitions will be held from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. at Rocky Face Park. Competitors who register by October 12th will receive a free Rocky Face Park t-shirt. For climbers with children, there will be two inflatable attractions. An inflatable bounce house and slide will be available for the younger children with a big inflatable slide for the older ones. The inflatables will be available from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. A free lunch, hot dogs, veggie burgers, and bottled water will be served at 12 noon while supplies last. In addition, music will fill the park throughout the day to help enliven the festivities. Spectators are welcome to attend this event as well. Attendees should bring a lawn chair and be prepared to witness the thrill of climbing on real rock. To learn more about rock climbing at Rocky Face Park, visit rockyfacepark.com slash rock climbing. For more information about the Rocky Face Climbing Festival or to register for the climbing classes or competitions, visit rockyfacepark.com or call 828-632-1093. Thanks, Alicia. This sounds like a fun day for Alexander County residents and our visitors. So folks, be sure to mark your calendar for the Rocky Face Climbing Festival on October 24th, whether you plan to climb or just be a spectator. October is National Fire Prevention Month. Did you know that roughly half of home fires deaths results from fires reported between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. when most people are asleep? Smoke alarms save lives. If there is a fire in your home, smoke spreads fast and you need smoke alarms to give you time to get out. In fact, having a working smoke alarm cuts the chances of dying in a reported fire in half. When it comes to smoke alarms, it's about location, location, location. The key message of this year's fire prevention campaign is to install smoke alarms in every bedroom outside each separate sleeping area and on every level of your home, including the basement. Larger homes may need more alarms. Keep your family safe with a working smoke alarm in every bedroom. Every October, schools and organizations across the country help stomp out bullying in observance of National Bullying Prevention Month. The goal is to encourage communities to work together to stop bullying and cyberbullying by increasing awareness of the prevalence and impact of bullying on all children of all ages. Check out this video from StopBullying.gov. Hi, I'm astronaut Scott Kelly. Growing up, I saw a lot of kids get bullied, and I know you see it too because it's pretty common. But like a lot of kids, I often stood by and did nothing to stop it, which was wrong. Bullying is never okay. It hurts in the moment and causes harm which can last a lifetime. The good news is you can make a difference. Be more than just a bystander, take action, and do something to stop bullying. October is National Bullying Prevention Awareness Month. Let's all work together to stop bullying. Pulling someone down will never take you to great heights. Teamwork makes the dream work at NASA. There is no space for bullying. Check out stopbullying.gov for more information. If you think your child is being bullied, speak up. And if you think your child may be a bully, take action and stop it before it becomes a problem. You can learn more at stopbullying.gov. Hi, my name is Leslie Meadows, Education Coordinator and Administrative Specialist for the Alexander County Soil and Water Conservation District. On September 17, 2015, the Alexander Soil and Water Conservation District held a soil and water farm tour for county public officials. The purpose of this tour was to showcase some of our installed conservation practices and to highlight our soil and water services and programs. The tour departed from the Soil and Water Conservation District parking lot via Greenway Public Transportation. 
The first stop of our tour was at Richie and Teresa Herman's beef cattle operation, where a rotational grazing demo was held. This farm family manages an average of 150 cow-calf pairs, 150 stalker cows, 25 sheep, and over 360 acres of land farmed in Ellendale. Approximately 13,200 linear feet of stream have been protected on the farm by livestock exclusion fencing with alternative watering sources provided. This 162-acre section of the farm is divided into several smaller paddocks where the cattle are rotationally grazed in order to optimize forage utilization, waste distribution, promote soil health, and further protect water quality. Soil health is an important focus of our Soil and Water Conservation District throughout the year of 2015. 2015 has been declared the International Year of Soils by the FAO, or Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. From there, our tour resumed to Trading Post Produce for refreshments and restroom break. Kelvin Hubbard has owned and operated this local produce store at its current location since 2009. Prior to that, it was Tommy's Market and Wholesale, originally ran by Kelvin's dad, Tommy Hubbard. Tommy started selling produce locally in 1973 and Kelvin took over in 1999. The store sells many locally produced items such as honey, corn, tomatoes, green beans, apples, and Lenny's Mill cornmeal. They also offer hand-dipped ice cream, candy, cakes, jams, jellies, other produce, and various other items. Our third stop was on the farm of Scott J.D. Sink. J.D.'s Stony Point Nursery and Farms encompasses 125 acres of field-grown trees, 40 acres of corn, 50 acres of single-crop soybeans, 115 acres of double-crop wheat soybeans, 100 acres of pasture with 60 brood cows, and 100 acres of hayland. J.D. also owns and manages Old Mountain Berry Patch, LLC, where he and partner Boyd Glenn grow 20 acres of blackberries for dole fruits. Both farms are enrolled in the Alexander County Voluntary Farmland Preservation Program. Current enrollment in the Voluntary Farmland Preservation Program is 70 farms throughout the county with over 9,000 acres currently enrolled. In addition, J.D. is an agricultural teacher and FFA advisor at Alexander Central High School. Members of the Alexander Central FFA officer team were present to share some of their experiences with FFA in Alexander County. Next, we stopped at Hidnot Elementary School to see a CCAP project, Community Conservation Assistance Program, where critical area planting and stormwater swell was installed to stabilize an eroding bank and two stormwater outlets above the playground. The work was completed in 2014. Our last stop was also a CCAP project, Community Conservation Assistance Program, at Alexander County's CVCC campus. This project included a cistern which was recently installed to collect rainwater from the roof to slow down stormwater runoff and allow for slower release. The water in the cistern or rain barrel will be used to irrigate the on-site raised garden beds used by the compensatory classes. Our tour concluded at Taylorsville First Baptist Church Fellowship Hall where dinner was provided by Carolina Farm Credit's Taylorsville branch and prepared by local caterer Mrs. Nancy Holesclaw. The menu included locally grown grilled chicken, roasted garlic mashed potatoes, orange glazed carrots, tossed salad, a roll, and cherry yum yum. During dinner, soil and water conservation staff gave presentations on state and county ag statistics. Agriculture still accounts for approximately $107 million of Alexander County's economic income. The Alexander Soil and Water Conservation District has brought over $1.3 million cost share dollars into the county over the past four program years for installation 
of best management practices or conservation practices. To learn more about our soil and water programs, visit our homepage off the Alexander County website, www.alexandercountync.gov, or call our office at 828-632-0638. <laughs>
we accept Cigna, United Healthcare, Coventry, and Blue Cross Blue Shield private insurance, along with Medicare, Medicaid, North Carolina Health Choice, or self-payment by cash, check, or credit card. The CDC recommends that all people six months of age and older should get a flu vaccine. Vaccination is especially important for people at higher risk of severe influenza and their close contacts, including healthcare personnel and close contacts of children younger than six months. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at 828-632-9704 or visit our website at alexanderhealth.org. We're here today at Bobby Joe's Country Kitchen, located here at 2696 NC Highway 16 north of Taylorsville. Now this place is uh, pretty well known throughout the years. This uh, used to be, I guess, Daniel's Drive-In and Shoe Bob's and Triple Play Cafe. But now we're lucky to have Bobby Joe's Country Kitchen. And it's my honor to be speaking with Bobby Meredith, who is the co-owner, along with his wife, Joyce. There, that's where you get the name Bobby Joe from Bobby and Joyce. Correct. So, uh, Bob, I hope you're doing well today, and thank you for allowing us to come into your uh, business here. Great restaurant, and I tell you, it's one of the most popular spots here in Alexander County. So, folks, if you haven't come out to Bobby Joe's Country Kitchen, you got to come out here on Highway 16 North and give them a try. All right, Bob, let's get into the interview a little bit here. Now, uh, we've talked about the building, and uh, you. so when you took it over, when was that? What About when did you buy the building? Uh, December the 13th, 2012. So it's been been a little bit longer than I thought. So December 2012, so you'll be coming up on your almost three-year anniversary here. Three years, yes, sir. Wow. Now, what kind of restaurant experience are you learning as you go? We'll learn as we go. Whenever we got ready to purchase this place, the banks ask us, do we have any experience? Our response is, yeah, we eat out all the time. So yeah. that's so, it. So you've learned from the best, and because you go to the places that you like, you've learned what you like to eat and maybe adapted some dishes along the way from some of your favorite restaurants. That's right. Yep. Now, who's the main cook here? Is that you or Joyce, or do you have other chefs in the kitchen? Well, we have other uh, chefs in the kitchen, but Joyce is the main one. She's one that does the daily specials. Puts all that together. And I've heard, I haven't tried the desserts, but I've heard they're out of this world. What, like, what kind of desserts do you have? Well, strawberry shortcake, butter pecan pound cake, um, cobbler, strawberry cobbler, blackberry cobbler. So. Well, sounds like I need to try one then. <laughs> uh, but I, I tell you, all the reviews out there online, and uh, you pretty much five stars everywhere, uh, Bob. So uh, that's something to be proud of, you know? Three years in the restaurant business, and you got five-star rating out there in the community. And I, I see uh, stuff of people from other counties driving through and say, we decided we'd stop there, and boy, were we impressed. So, again, folks, if you haven't come out here to Bobby Joe's, you need to come out. Uh, now, tell us, I know you're, you're closed Monday and Tuesday, I believe. Tell us your hours here. Okay, Wednesday is from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., and then Sunday is 7 a.m. till 2.30 p.m. Okay. So you're doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner Wednesday through Saturday, and then breakfast and lunch on Sunday. Correct. Right. Okay. We got you figured out now, folks. Yep. So when you come out here, you know what you can get at Bobby Joe's. Now, uh, you mentioned you know some of the daily specials that Joyce fixes and things of that nature. What are some of your specialties here? Uh, we have homemade spaghetti, uh, meatloaf, um, sirloin tips, steak and gravy, uh, Country taco. C country taco. Yep, that's it. Yep. So it's all real good. And everybody, if people were going to say, now what's a country taco? That's basically a tortilla filled up with hamburger meat and peppers and onions and cheese. So uh, really tasty out here. But uh, so Joyce apparently knows what she's doing. Yep. And, and you just help her a little bit along the way. Well, I, I do what she tells me to do. That's a good husband right there, my man. Good job. Good job. So she, you're keeping her happy. Right. I'm trying. And uh, your customers are happy, too, apparently. I mean, with all these good reviews, and uh, you get a lot of repeat customers. We have a lot of repeat, and uh, we, we've been well blessed. 
Well, that's good. We are blessed here, and we're blessed to have you in the county. Uh, and we're trying to drive some new customers in here to Bobby Joe's Country Kitchen. So uh, if you don't remember, the address is 2696 NC Highway 16 north of Taylorsville. Uh, it's near the Probe Superette up here on 16. Now, if they want to get a hold of you, how can they reach you? Uh, telephone number is 828-635-1950. All right, 635-1950. And uh, you can dine in, of course, and you got a... Uh, the, the spot here in the front of the restaurant, but you also got quite a bit of seating in the back here, right? We do. We naturally seat 60 people. 60 people. So if somebody wanted to even throw a party here, you could probably do that for them. Yep. All right. And plus, they got a drive through folks. So if you want to do take out the easy way, call Bobby Joe's Country Kitchen, 635-1950. They're located at 2696 NC Highway 16 north of Taylorsville. Bobby, thank you so much. You keep Joyce straight now, all right? All right. Thank you, Gary. All right. And, folks, we continue to ask you to buy local Alexander County. To learn more about our Buy Local Alexander County campaign, visit the Alexander County EDC website alexanderedc.org or give me a call 828-632-1378 by local alexander county because i love him because he said he was sorry. Because I thought he would change. Because I didn't want to have a failed marriage. He taught me that I'm worthless. Because I thought I was strong because enough he to handle it. Me from because divorce, family. Family. divorce is shameful. Because, because I, I couldn't survive on my own. Because, because it was because, because it doesn't happen that often. Because, because I had I no because nobody because would my word ever love me like him. Me. Because it was my fault. Because I no longer knew who I was. It's time to say enough to domestic violence in Alexander County. Protect yourself and your family by calling 828-635-8850. That's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let's work together as a community to put an end to domestic violence forever. One in four women will experience abuse in their relationships, in their homes, in their communities, where they should be safe. They are threatened. If you are being hurt or know someone who is, there is help and there is hope. Learn about the signs of domestic violence, the steps to get out of danger, and the resources available all across our state. Call 1-800-799-SAFE or visit enoughnc.org for help. It's time to say enough. Enough. Basta. Enough. Are you looking for something fun to do in October in Alexander County? Well, check out these events. The public is invited to a free business workshop entitled Making a Splash Without Much Cash on Thursday, October the 8th from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. This class is sponsored by the CVCC Small Business Center and will be held at the CVCC Alexander Center for Education. There is no charge to attend, but pre-registration is required. For more information, call 828-327-7000, extension 4117, or visit sbc.cvcc. Edu. Looking for some sporting events? Well, the Alexander Central High School varsity football team's homecoming game is Friday, October 9th at 7.30 p.m. against North Lincoln High School. The varsity team also has its senior night on October 30th as they battle Statesville High School. The JV Cougars play on October 1st, 15th, and 22nd at home at 7 p.m. The ACHS tennis team plays at home on October 6th and 8th at 4 o'clock. And the soccer team has five home games, October 3rd, 8th, 13th, 27th, and 29th with JV action at 5 and varsity action at 6.30 p.m. The volleyball team has three home matches on October 6th, 8th, and 15th. The JV plays at 4.30 and varsity action begins at about 6 o'clock. Go Cougars! Of course, you've already marked your calendar for the Taylorsville Apple Festival on Saturday, October 17th, which you learned all about earlier in the program. And you also heard about the Rocky Face Climbing Festival set for October 24th. So uh, after you leave the climbing festival, head to Scotty's Hometown Grill. The Apple City Street Riders Halloween Cruise-In is set for October 24th from 4 to 10 p.m. So have some fun, dress up for Halloween at this popular event. In addition to the classic automobiles, activities will include live music, dancing, 
food, 50-50 drawings, prizes, and much more. This is the final cruise in of the 2015 season. For more information, contact Roy Bentley, 828-244-1842 or AppleCityStreetRotters.com. As you can see, there's a lot happening here in Alexander County in October. As always, find out more about these events and more at our tourism website. Visit alexandernc.com. There you'll find a complete calendar of events, information about places to visit in Alexander County, restaurant listings, and much more. Thanks for watching this episode of Alexander County Now. You can watch us on YouTube, Facebook, or the Alexander County Government Channel. Be sure to tune in next month and spread the word about our show. We'll see you next time.